Hello, my name is Lola Singer. I've been absent from YouTube for a while, and that's because I've been going through a series of changes, lots of cycles, because um, I've had to shift my personality, basically. And I'll explain that in a second. Um, I do want to do a Language of Light song for you. I'll probably do that at the end. But before I get to that point, the reason I'm bringing up cycles is because it's going to be September 1st soon, and I just found out today that September 1st is not only going to be an eclipse, but it's also going to be a new moon. And the reason why this particular date is so poignant for me is because that's the date my mother died one year ago. So this is going to be a huge, huge shift and cycle for me, where I'm starting a whole new year as a whole new person. So that's why I'm talking about changing my personality. You know, when almost a year ago today, I had to make the decision to have my mother's pacemaker turned off after a series of strokes where she just never came back. Her body was working, but her eyes, no, no sign of life. I'm sorry. This was one of the hardest things I ever had to do in my life because I'm all about empowerment. And up until my mom, and she was very, very sick for a long time, up until she hit that point, every time somebody asked, what do you want to do about your mother when she was in the hospital, when she was sick, I always said, ask her first. I always honored her ability to make a decision. Now, she was very sick. She was almost paralyzed. She couldn't talk, but she couldn't. Say yes with her head and no with her head. So I gave her her decisions all the way up into the point she could not make them for herself. Why am I bringing this up? Well, number one, because that September 1st is coming up and it's going to be a whole new cycle for me. And why has my personality changed? Because I've done things in the past year I never, ever thought I would do. I never thought I would be in a point where I had to ask somebody to turn off a pacemaker. I never thought I'd be an orphan. I never thought that I would be somebody who had to shift her perception of who she was. And I have, because I'm not that person anymore. I can't be. I can't go back. So September 1st is a whole new cycle where I really embrace who I've become. In the past year, I've done a lot. I've forged great friendships. I've learned that I have the ability to heal very well with my hands. I've become a Reiki master. I combine light language with Reiki. It works really well together. I'm becoming more empowered in myself and understanding who I am and what this gift I've been given is for. I've started doing a Google Hangout with a fellow um, light language practitioner and healer from New Zealand, Lily Lau. We call it um, Sonic Adventures with Lola and Lily, light language from across the globe. If you're interested in joining us for a Google Hangout where we talk about light language, we, we try to um, connect together as best, best we can across the time zones and uh, present um, what we know about sound healing and light language to people and, and ask them to come join us and share their gifts too. So there's been a lot of changes, a lot of things kind of propelling me forward. And I think this is the chance now for my new personality to emerge, which is a new personality of someone who has to empower herself. I'm no longer the protector of somebody else. I have to empower myself. So I think this new moon is going to be a very good opportunity for that. So with that in mind, I do plan to, because I have more time for me, I do plan to do more videos, and I also plan to start talking to you about my experiences and my understandings about life. A lot of it has been gained through the experiences of the past few years, you know, with, with my mom in the process of dying and after she died. But even more importantly, I've been studying Kabbalah, and that's, you know, studying the, you know, man's place in the universe and the universe's place in man. So basically, there, I've learned a lot. I'm not an expert, but I've been getting the push. Um, big strong push that it's time for me to start sharing what I've learned with other people so they can use it to grow themselves. 
Kabbalah is not an easy way of understanding yourself. It's got a lot of mind twists to it. Um, you use tarot cards as part of the process. And um, so I might be talking about the tarot cards, maybe singing some, some, some songs about the energy of the tarot cards. So um, this is a long preamble. I just wanted to let you know that I'm looking at September 1st as definitely a new beginning. You know, the death cycle is over and the rebirth is here. I'm rebirthing myself as somebody totally new. As a matter of fact, last week um, I went to, I was told to do this. I was advised to go to a lake and take a stone, whatever stone I found was the first one that appealed to me, and put in my intention of releasing the energy that no longer was mine so that I could create something new. So I release those ties to the past. And why am I bringing this up? Because our mind, our subconscious mind, thinks in images. So this ritual is implanted in my mind now. I can see myself at the lake. I can feel the water lapping at my feet when I stood in it. I can feel myself releasing the stone and becoming somebody new. And I did. So I'm going to encourage people to use that to their advantage too. So if you ever want to really have a big impact on your brain, actually do something that is symbolic and it will stick in your memory. And the other thing I did was I bought a necklace. The, the day of the releasing ceremony um, at a little gift shop, perfect, it's a figure eight. Life and death, new beginnings, the cycle never ending. So this is going to be my symbol of my new rebirth. September 1st is going to be the date that it really, really gets cemented. So I'm going to sing a song for you in light language, and I'm going to dedicate it to the new you. Because we look back at who you were a year ago or 10 years ago and say, who is that person? I am not that person anymore. I cannot be that person anymore. So since we can't go backward, let's go forward. So I'm going to sing a song in light language celebrating rebirth and momentum. Now, the music comes out of my mouth based on the energetics of the intention, so I never know how it's going to sound. Sometimes I sound really happy. Sometimes I sound sad. Sometimes I'm fast. Sometimes I'm slow. I'm just going to let the energy flow through me as a channel and see what comes out when we set the intention of moving forward and new beginnings. May on a high on a Hanna Makaria Hayana Hayono Hayono Hayo Hayono Seya Hayana Seyo Hayono Hayana Horo Manteo Hayana Hayono Maya Mario Hayana, Hayana, Haya, Hayona, Terono, Mante, Acario, Hayona, Hayona, Kaya, Hayona, Caronio, Maya, Mante, I don't know about you, but I really felt that here. I really felt that here. It felt strong and confident and necessary. It's necessary for us to acknowledge the past, recognize, you know, that we were that person, but it is essential for us to move on and be the new people we've become. So I'm Lola Singer. I'm no longer Lisa. That was my birth name, Lisa. 
I don't even know who that person is anymore. I have become Lola, the healer, the person who wants to share her experiences, the person who wants to teach. So if you like that, great. I, I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope you stay with me. If it's not your cup of tea, that's okay too. You know, I perfectly understand. Um, but I really hope that people will empower themselves. Draw upon your strength. You know, you made it. I made it this year. You can make it too. So I just want to wish you nothing but the best. And thank you for listening to me because I just needed to share. Thank you. Bye-bye.